Oh, excuse me. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy is driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. <laughs> oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil and the Southern Pacific freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. <laughs> what a pointless waste of life. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and miles and pity for those traffic folks. And who needs a second amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? Good lord, how far away is this place? If it's a kidnapping, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, Phelps. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Counselor. Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and we'll get there one day. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Terrible driving. Finally, Jab Crawl City. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. She now on the phone texting. Wait, didn't have cell phones. <laughs> LAPD, Mrs. Black. The yeah, joke. We have, we have some Calm bad down. news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. There's no one around. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Mm. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. I doubt it. Okay, so it's just gonna do it random things. Oh, another one of these. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So don't do it. Your friend of court. Yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Cocaine! Or heroin. You shoot heroin, don't you? It's heroin. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about the past, occasions that made you laugh. This guy creeps me out. He really creeps me out. Did he just build Cosby? Him? 
think he Bill Cosby them. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. What do you think I'm doing? Sure, this means much. This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Huh? Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. A two fifty. No use leaving the thing half finished. Well, we install water heaters of cop so the pipe detective work on Mr. Black's heater is the same one that work out. <laughs> huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. There's a burn pile back here or something. Maybe that's a different case. are a match. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. train ticket a used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing someone couldn't wait to get out of this house
separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? All right, I think it's time to go interview this woman. I'm all right now, detectives. All right, we found a receipt house receipt. in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. <coughs> What makes you say that about Think Morgan? It's true. He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of Sounds time. Sounds right. Up until recently. Where she looked he's truthful. Been away in Seattle a lot on business. Mm -hmm. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of She seems to be honest. Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements Why did you be last such a dick, dude? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there Do anyone have to go my gut. Out for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. Yeah. I've told you what I know about I think we got that one wrong. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know. Now I'm starting to question to leave me or if, if I got the other ones right or not. <laughs> God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. We'll keep you informed. Oh, I got six out of six correct. Please do, detective. Pretty freaking sweet. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Putting you through now. 1247. How can I help, Detective? 
I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. I don't know, I think I want him to drive this time. Well, they're mine. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem to type, but stranger things have happened. Please don't be. That's not that far. We can make it. Fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead from my truck. All right. I'll see if I can get in through the back. All right. I'll stay here and keep him busy. Go! Ah, Whoa! What the heck? Oh, oh, and assist. This again. Put the weapon down now. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. I see nothing wrong with that. Car 11K. I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street. Globe loan and jewelry. It's code four now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor in the corner. Eleven K, Roger on the ambulance in corner. Your supervisor will be notified. Units eleven K reports code four. 